Hello and welcome back to Factorio. In the last episode, we got all of our blue production going, as well as refining a few of the other areas going on here. And it looks like now we have a nice solid line of blues. We got a nice solid line of pretty much every other color, so our research should be able to automate itself just fine without any interruptions. Um, now looking at the red production here, I want to get the reds going as, fa as fast as I can because I need to make blues, and blues take a lot of red, as well as sulfuric acid. So uh, what I want to do is increase production of these guys. These are the source of all the other stuff. I can convert uh, this yellow stuff to uh, to get more petroleum gas, and I may do that first. But in the meantime, I want to get some speed modules for this guy, because the speed modules will help this process, which is currently limiting everything else in the factory. Now, that's that's going to mean that I'm going to be using up a lot more oil, and uh, just looking at these oil reserves, the some of them were over one uh, one point oh per second. Uh, right now. Most of them, or actually all of them, are under 1. Some of these are 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. Which means that the oil soon, eventually, is going to deplete down to 0 0.1 per second. And that's not going to be enough to really sustain this. So, um, in the future, I will have to go up here and grab this oil and probably route it around. Same thing over here, probably grab that oil and route it around. Uh, this other oil is way too far away. If it comes to that, which I don't think it will, I should be able to beat the game before then. I will have to go up here and put it into like barrels or something and then use a train to get it back, but that's that's long in the future. So in the meantime, what I would like to do is increase these with speed modules, but I also want to convert these guys over to producing petroleum for this guy. So uh, just looking at what we need to do, if I convert these guys over to splitting, cracking, you call it, I need to get water on these two, which is what this is doing. So really, I need to just connect that over there. And I'm going to take you and go all the way over here that I can. And likewise, so that you can do that. So now you have water coming in. It doesn't... The water doesn't affect these things at all until you convert them over. So it's not like it's flooding this with water and it won't work. Uh, so let's split it. Let's split it. And so now with these two things producing petroleum, this thing should produce a lot quicker. Uh, but I need to connect them first, obviously. Uh, so connect, and we'll do a similar thing here. Actually, we'll bring it back, and like that. Boom, boom. So now we got four pipes all coming here to make petroleum. And as you can see, it is definitely picked up in production. Once this automation, right now I'm researching automation, what automation is going to do is grant me the yellow assemblers, which are a lot faster than the, the blue ones. And that's going to help you start making speed modules. I need speed modules for the rocket, but I also want to make some level 3 speed modules for these guys just so that they produce a lot quicker, a lot more. Alright, uh, so that one's done. Let's go over here and finish this one so we can produce more sulfuric acid. What the hell happened there? Um, and then I'm just going to try to use as much underground as I can. Um, I'm going to have to move you. And there. And uh, well, hold on, one of you is going to have to convert to water. Shoot, uh, so you're going to have to convert to water too. How the hell do I... I can move you. Uh, let's see, so we'll do the same thing with this one, just go around it. And you are going here, right? And I'll make you go over there. Perfect. Need to get you an output though. Um, even though these things aren't making, uh, or won't be making the solid fuel anymore, I'm going to leave these guys set up so that they can convert if needed. I doubt they will need it, but um, anyways. Uh, so you got water. No, you don't have water yet. Uh, give me a water pump. What the hell did I just make? Whoops. Well, that will get used eventually too. <laughs> Whoops. Um, yeah, so let's just do regular. Uh, I need more pipe now. I'm actually losing my voice. I've been talking too long. Okay, so we got water coming in. You guys producing? You guys producing? Good. Um, you know what? I'm gonna actually I'm gonna convert this one over. Uh, so what this is gonna do is connect up these guys to that. 
So this is now going to output the stuff. This will stay lubricant, I believe. You also need water. That's your water pipe. God damn it. Yeah, okay. So you're, you're supporting all of them. Good. So now this thing is producing more, or it's turning all the heavy oil into light. And that's feeding it back into these two guys, which is then feeding it to here. So this should be getting a ton more now. Let's start making some speed modules. What do you need to make speed modules? You need advanced circuits and green circuits. The advanced circuits here are here in red, so what I think I'll do is just plop it down here for now. And have it input all the green circuits you need. And there, and I'll just manually enter the reds for now. Uh, and then where should I output it? I'll just put a chest. Oh, I'll just put a chest right here. That's fine. Ah, da, 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 da. And don't really need anything fancy. Cool. So now this thing's making speed modules. Uh, first thing I'll do with the speed modules is reinsert or um, convert a few into this. Actually, I'll probably do some myself. Oh, that's going to take forever. Uh, I'll just do one. Uh, the cool thing about the yellow ones, too, is that they also hold four of these modules. Now, if, if you convert uh, these guys all to yellow, they start just, they produce like mad. It's actually quite a spectacle to see. Um, you know, I haven't saved it the whole time. <laughs> I should probably save it. Looks like everything is going good. Alright, so I got a yellow. Let's increase these. Got five of those. Let's dump them back into here to make those go quicker. Um, and with, I, I can't make level twos yet, but uh, this is good anyways. So I can convert one of them over. Again, this is just going to make these guys go quicker. And then, after these two are gone, I'm going to start making some more of the yellow ones. Are these guys the limiting factor? Do I need to increase them? What's slowing you down? Circuits. Circuits are slowing you down. What? What? What do you mean circuits are slowing you down? You're not getting enough copper. Copper is slowing down. What? Alright, time to increase the copper production, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna have to switch these. So uh, a lot of this game is also reactionary, like, oh, there's a problem here, and you go and address it. And, um, if I convert all these over to electricity, I can actually stop the coal from coming here and just run it where it needs to, which is right here. And if I convert those to electricity, I don't need coal anymore, do I then? At least not in here. Yeah, I'm gonna convert my steel over. So steel... Okay, steel is basically grabbing all the iron now, which is good. I don't have a way to output it though. Hey Aaron, that would help. Otherwise they just sit there all day. These guys are out of power again. I mean something's wrong with the uh, the coal production. I don't think the, the coal yeah, the coal's not giving enough. Ah, uh, great. So I might actually just reroute that coal in the right spot. Yeah, because I got rid of the solid fuel, so now it's dependent entirely on coal. So what I'm gonna do is this. And I'm gonna rotate them. So that's gonna feed it around. Alright, uh, so yeah, I'm just going to I'll run a splitter for now. Uh, because I still need the copper down there. But eventually this is just going to run and feed the uh, the burners. So is the coal coming in abundance yet that I can turn this off? Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to turn this back and get the excess out. The steel is not getting around because these guys are using up all my steel. I need to produce more iron. Iron is steel, by the way. So is there a way I can increase this? Yes, I can put some... But what I think I'm going to do is make a secondary line down here and have it output the steel and then come up here and make this whole line blue, which will increase the speed. Um, remember, these furnaces uh, are going to re reduce by a third. So I'll be, reduced, or I'll be recreating the electric ones on the bottom side, grabbing from this iron and then outputting on... Uh, their own track to dump it here. At least that's the plan. And again, this isn't going to work until I get blues because it's it's just going to be backed up. But... And so this will keep a constant line, which should be able to go by the whole thing, no problem. There, now we're getting iron back on the right spot. You are out of iron. That is going to start happening, unfortunately. And all it means is that I have to go and find another source of iron sometime soon. Alright, uh, my green production, green circuit production is still- Oh, because the plastics have caught up. Ah, that's why there's so much of that. And you're running too slow, so I'm going to upgrade you. And as fast as you can get copper. 
And this is what I mean by the yellows, or the, yeah, the yellows are so much better. Speed modules, 34 of them, awesome. Can I increase you at all? I certainly could. Cool, so I am going to call that episode here. Uh, next episode, I think I'm going to be upgrading all of the coal burning furnaces to electric. That way I can leave this coal line specifically for feeding the, uh, the pipes on this upper side there. And um, maybe even put some speed modules in these things to crank out more iron. Yeah, so thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, please like it. If you're new around here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or feedback, please leave them below. Thanks again so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.